I have over the years seen many articles talking about making more sustainable roads. And I mean, we drive on these things and, you know, you always see the roads being improved and, you know, being torn up and, you know, whatever and potholes are the bane of Chicago drivers. And there's always one approach or another that says, oh, this is going to make the roads better. And, you know, so I found an article in sciencealert.com uh, coming out of Australia that the engineers are now using old tires to make a better substrate for roads. So what they found was if they cut up, they chop up these used tires to very small particles. And um, it turns out they used a 0.5% fine crumb rubber and 99.5% recycled concrete, um, I forgot, RCA, recycled concrete aggregate. And basically the rubber is taking the place of um, what they call it, virgin sand. You know, so, so they, they go out and they get brand new stuff to put in the roads. Well, now they're saying, well, let's just chop up rubber from tires and use that instead. And the good news is the rubber gives it a sense of elasticity. It makes it um, better able to expand and contract with uh, temperatures and different things, which as a substrate, and then you put the asphalt on top of it, means that the asphalt is less likely to crack. And maybe not so much in Australia, but in uh, many other parts of the world, cracks leads, lead to um, freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw leads to potholes, potholes lead to, you know, taking your car to Paul because you have to fix the, the axle. Um, Bone tires, bent wheels. Exactly. Um, so basically, um, you know, the, the, the nice thing here is that they are keeping tires out of landfills. Do you guys know, did, did you know that Ugh. waste tires are usually put in landfills or incinerated? They straight yeah. up just now, burn There's them. a big pile yep. behind Springfield on fire. <laughs> yes, that is true. For like yes. 20 years. Mm -hmm. For 30 years now. For 30 yeah. years, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so, and that's too close to reality to even be funny. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I, I think it's, it's interesting that we run our fossil fuel cars on roads made basically of fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, it's so like, watching. And there is a shit ton of tires that need to be recycled every year. So oh, for yeah. sure. Oh yeah. That's another thing. Hold on. Let me, um, so while you look that up, I, I was uh, yeah. watching a, a, an engineering video on um, on asphalt concrete, and they went on to explain that uh, that you know if you just if you don't put in tires in, into the mix and other chemicals as well, when it gets too cold, the road will crack. But if it gets too hot, the road will become more flexible, so you get ruts. And he was explaining that. Asphalt concrete is actually our most recycled material on the planet oh. uh, because it doesn't actually change formula. You just heat it up and it becomes malleable. And then when it cools down, it becomes what we expect. And so he was also talking about, not, not on the substrate, he was talking about tires in the, um, in the concrete itself, in the asphalt. Yeah. And uh, so when you get the cracks, it, it, it can affect the 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 substrate and then once the substrate is destroyed you need to redo the whole road rather than just resurfacing or putting down more more of the surface hmm. so more than one billion scrap tires globally per year Ugh. i've done four today that's horrible yes yeah yeah, yeah. Has, has anybody ever been to these um uh, synthetic turf fields that use ground up tires in them yes. yeah have you, yeah. have you ever smelled what that's like when it gets to be about 85 90 degrees yeah. it, you smell <laughs> the whole field smells like a tire factory so i'm just going to imagine that our roads could soon smell like the tire department at costco but, but if it cuts down well, i gotta be honest they already do smell like that <laughs> they do they do with the right additives uh this elasticity will help uh, one make them cheaper two make them last longer and then three, because tires already have to operate in that extreme cold and extreme heat without melting or falling off your tires, off your, uh, off your car. Yeah. This could impart some of that uh, 
And, and if the road gets hot enough, like in Australia, it, could, it, it might actually retread your tire <laughs> while you're driving. <laughs> so see, there's, there's, there's benefits. Mm-hmm.